Hi, this is Alan Richardson from eviltester.com. I'm going to show you how to connect a mobile device through a debug proxy on your laptop or desktop. Now, this is really useful to start seeing the web traffic that's coming through on your uh, mobile device that you normally don't have visibility into. So here you can see there's some traffic coming through Fiddler. And now I've connected to my phone via VNC here. So this is actually my phone. And this is all the traffic coming through on my uh, mobile device here. So I'm just going to show you how to set this up so that you can do this too. Now it's not really that hard. All we have to do is a couple of things, which is uh, figure out the right IP address for our desktop, change the proxy settings on our phone, make sure that our proxy on the desktop or laptop actually allows external connections from another machine, and make sure that our mobile device and our laptop or desktop are actually on the same wireless network. So I normally have my phone connected to Wi-Fi, which is what's going on here. And then my laptop or desktop are connected into the same network, either through Wi-Fi or wired. It doesn't really make any difference. So the steps that I do are, I'm going to use Fiddler as the example. It's nice and simple. So Fiddler's running. Other things I do is I go into Tools, Fiddler Options. And I check in the connections that Allow Remote Computers to Connect is actually selected. If it isn't, Fiddler will block the connection request and you won't be able to debug through. So this one's really important. The other thing I have to make a note of is the port that Fiddler is running on. Next thing I'll do is I'll go into a command window and I'll run the ipconfig command. Now I can see that I have a lot of IP addresses coming up here, mainly because I've got the wired connection, there's a wireless connection, a whole bunch of virtual machine connections. So sometimes the hard part is working out which IP address you need to connect to. Now the way I basically do it is pretty much trial and error until you get used to it. Uh, so the first time I tried to connect, I used this one because Ethernet local adapter connection didn't work. So I dropped down here and this is actually the real one, the Ethernet adapter. This is the IP address I would connect to. So I haven't found those bits of information, the IP address we're on, the port that our debug proxy is working on. Then we go off to our mobile phone. So if I go into this an Android phone, you can see that fairly simply enough. Go into settings, off to Wi-Fi, pick the wireless network you're connected to. On Android, you do a long press there, modify the network config, make sure the proxy settings are set to manual. In fact, first thing to do is make sure you tick the show advanced options, otherwise you won't see any of the proxy stuff. So show advanced options to see the proxy information, proxy settings to manual, then in the HTTP proxy, put in the IP address that your machine is on. So here you can see 192.168.1131, that's what I put in there. Then the port for my debug proxy, 888, 888 goes in there. Save that. Now, the browsers on this phone should be connecting through into Fiddler. So if I get the default browser up, there's my main web page. Let me clear out the traffic here from Fiddler. That was just the control X to clear out the traffic. Then let's have a quick look at one of the pages on my site. And you can see the request starting to go through now. Now, because it's a debug proxy, I can look in the request. I can see that my phone, the user agent in the default, Apple WebKit, it's got the mobile Safari stuff. So it's trying to be a mobile browser. That's the built-in one. If I head off to uh, Chrome, what I found is that by default, Chrome and Firefox and the inbuilt browser work uh, pretty seamlessly. Dolphin had a couple of issues getting started, but wasn't that hard. There's Chrome. Just thought I'd show you all the apps that are installed on my Android. So here's Chrome. And if I visit the selenium site there, again, we can see the traffic starting to come through. So that's pretty much it. You may have some issues if you try and use uh, another application. If it's a native app, then it may not connect through in the same proxy settings. It might, you might get lucky, it might not. In the past, we've had to hack about a little bit 
Um, I vaguely remember having to use some ADB port redirects in order to get that working, uh, but I haven't done that for so long, I'm not going to demo that here. But it's not hard at all to get your normal inbuilt browsers just going through a debug proxy on your browser.